Uh, this is Jason giving you some information about reading buoys here on Maui. Swell angles, periods, everything you need to know. This is what I use daily to get an idea of what's out in the water. I don't rely too much on uh, the forecast. But we start with Surfline. Go to their homepage. You can go to their forecast, North America, Maui, North. And this will get you to their Maui North forecast, which is very, very general information. I don't rely on this at all. Uh, so you want to go over to the Buoys tab, click on the North Maui buoy, which is Pauea. Uh, and here's the spectral readings. This gives you all the swell angles that are out in our local waters. And so you've got basically 5 feet at 8 seconds at 76 degrees, 3 at 5, and 0.3 at 16. What does that mean? Well, another site that you need to bookmark is Storm Surf. Storm Surf has a swell category chart uh, that gives you the seconds and feet and translate into wave height. So if you had a 14 second swell at seven feet, oops, that'd be seven and a half to 10 foot faces. So this is something that's very useful to, to get yourself familiar with the buoy readings and that way it'll help easier interpret it, interpret this information. So I go here every day, all day, check in data. Uh, the um, West Lanai buoy, which we use for the south uh, summertime swells, is offline. It's been offline for weeks. And until it comes back on, we're kind of limited to these outer buoys to see what's coming. But it's not uh, as, as accurate as West Lanai. So it's a bit frustrating this time of year, especially in June. Um, but we're just going to have to deal with it. Uh, so that's how you read uh, those numbers and another website that I use kind of the forecast is called windy.com and windy has uh, current model data on wave and it goes all the way out to uh, 10 days out. The further you go out the less accurate this is uh, but it's something to get you excited sometimes and uh, as you scroll as I scroll this out <clears throat> whoa you'll see that there's something brewing over here and put it out to Sunday the 11th and look at that, that is some action, 42 foot head for West Oz. We got some under New Zealand forecasted as well that we should probably keep an eye on uh, to give us an idea of what's out in, in there. In there the what's coming. And also a great informational source for Maui is the Maui Surf Report. Jean Paulo puts together a really good information, he explains uh, things in very good detail. Uh, sometimes a little too much for the average Joe like myself or not. But anyways, uh, he does a great job. Uh, check it out, follow him. He usually does um, stuff from the road too. You can see, you know, he's driving on the road every day. I've seen him out uh, check and surf. And we stay in touch too to share uh, conditions. Uh, but anyways, MauiSurfReport.blogspot.com. Follow him. He's got a lot of good uh, info and it'll help train you on how to read buoys because he gives all the, the buoy data here too as well. Um, and that's it. That's how pretty much to read buoys. Um, the only component that I didn't put in this is swell angles, uh, which I'm going to do in my second video. And you're going to need to download Google Earth. And Google Earth, I, you need it for uh, the swell angles. And you'll see why here once you look at my second video. I appreciate you taking the time. Hope you learned something and uh, throw up some questions on the YouTube channel and I can get back to you answer-wise. But uh, this is a good starting point. Hope you enjoyed. Aloha.